Hello everyone and welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. My name is George and as always I'm thrilled to be with you once again. Today I want to dive into those pesky little technical issues that can turn the PDF reading experience into a complete mess. We've all been there haven't we? You receive an important PDF document on your phone and the moment you open it it's like you're peering into a vast landscape through the confines of a tiny window. Pinching, zooming, swiping, it's almost like a full-on workout just to read a single page. So here's our mission for today. We're going to get to the bottom of all of this, uncover what's causing these problems, and learn how to avoid them to ensure the seamless, crystal clear reading experience for anyone who engages with our finely crafted PDFs. So sit back, grab a cup of coffee, and go find your mobile phone so we can both explore how we can solve all these problems. First things first, let's scrap what makes a PDF mobile friendly. A mobile friendly PDF is a document crafted with the intention of being effortlessly readable and easy to navigate on mobile devices, such as smartphones and tablets. This entails tailoring the layout and arrangement of content to look great on smaller screens, sidestepping issues like excessive zooming or horizontal scrolling to view the complete content. Making PDFs mobile friendly is actually very simple. You just need to address the two main issues that can affect the reading experience for mobile users. Our first and most crucial goal is to ensure that reading our document is a pleasant experience on small screens. Remember, the fewer adjustments the reader needs to make, the better. The second challenge involves optimizing the file size. Large files result in extended waiting times while flipping through pages or downloading the document. With these objectives in mind, it's a good moment to explore how best practices for creating mobile-friendly PDFs can help us address these issues. To create a mobile-friendly PDF, you can use a mobile device along with professional editing and measurement software like PDF Elements. This combination will allow you to achieve a great balance between visual appeal and functional design. However, there's an alternative that we can use to create our mobile-friendly PDFs from virtually any device, including desktop computers. The strategy involves leveraging your browser's developer tools along with a professional word processor like Google Docs to create polished and 100% mobile friendly documents. Let me show you how to do this. The first step is to navigate to the Google Docs homepage and create a new blank document. Now, pay attention to the ruler. If you can't see it in your document, you can turn it on by going to the view menu. Next, you'll need to enable developer tools. Usually, all you have to do is press the F12 key on your keyboard to display the developer tools. Once it's open, enable the device emulation by clicking on the toggle device emulation button. Great, now all you have to do is open the dimensions menu and choose a mobile device from the list. In this example, I'll be working with the screen dimensions of an iPhone 12 Pro, and there you go. On screen, we can see the same dimensions that we would see on our mobile devices. This way, we can perfectly understand if our document will be comfortable to read or not for mobile device users. Once here, the first thing we should do is switch the screen orientation to landscape. This simple action will give us a wider view and help us understand how to adjust the margins of our content. It will also help us evaluate if the font size is appropriate for comfortable reading without the need to zoom in. Now that we have the page margins adjusted and know the right font size, it's a good time to standardize the size and fonts we'll use for our titles, headings, and the rest of the content. Fantastic. Now that we have everything set up, we can start writing comfortably without worrying about the margins. However, as you may notice, we now need to be mindful of the vertical space that can be seen before swiping down. Our goal is to display the information in the most organized and uninterrupted way possible. For example, let's say I'm in a situation where I want to place an image at the beginning of my document, but then I realize that the image is too large. So to make the title and image visible at the same time on a mobile screen, I'll need to play around with the editing tools to achieve a creative design that allows me to display my title and image at the same time in an aesthetically pleasing way. In this case, the first thing I'll do is reduce the size of the image using the resize handles on its outline. But my goal isn't just to resize the image. Once I've adjusted its resolution, I'll use the cropping and text wrapping tools to give it the right dimensions so I can use this image as a background for my title. Now, to improve the visual distribution of the elements a bit, I'll insert a horizontal line and voila. By resizing images using the crop tool, we can insert practically any image into our document and make it look good on a mobile device. When you're finished, just make sure to download the document in a PDF format. 
With this, we've solved the readability and navigation problems, but there's still a huge problem left to solve. As you can see on the screen, the document we've created includes several images, which has increased the size to almost 31 megabytes. This excessive weight will make it difficult to send the file through messaging applications like Skype, Discord, Facebook, WhatsApp, or email. A simple solution to this problem is to use a software that has a native capacity to compress PDF documents, like PDF Element. The strategy is to leverage the compression tools that you can find in both the Windows and iOS versions of PDF Element. On Windows, you'll find the Compress tool in the Tools tab, while on iOS, all you have to do is open the Document Options and tap on the Reduce File Size option. But hold on, before choosing a compression level, I want to give you some advice to help you ensure that the quality of your documents, both on mobile devices and large screens, is crucial to keep in mind that the main goal of the compression process is to reduce both the quality and size of the images in the document, as well as apply other optimization adjustments to save space. Usually, these changes will be imperceptible on small screens, but on larger screens, the images may appear blurry. My recommendation is to opt for the medium compression option to prevent these types of problems. This option will decrease the weight of the document without completely compromising the quality of your images. Isn't that amazing? In my case, I managed to reduce the size of my document from 30.99 megabytes to just 829 kilobytes. And speaking of amazing tools, PDF Element has a couple of features that you can use to add an extra touch of interactivity that I promise will fascinate both you and your readers. First, let's take a look at the bookmarks tool. The bookmarks feature is a great way to improve navigation within your document, particularly for those who are accessing it on a mobile device. This tool allows you to create shortcuts that you can use to comfortably and immediately move to any page in your document. In this example, I created a bookmark and named it the same as the subtitle on this page but I could also name it with any other name that would be useful. I bring this up because if your goal is to create an interactive table of contents, my preferred approach and recommendation would be to use links. You simply need to select the Add Page Link tool found in the Insert tab and select an area on the screen. In this case, to give my index an interactive touch, I'll select the area around the introduction label. Now, you just have to enter the page number that you want this link to redirect your readers to and you can test this out by tapping on the area. Pretty cool, right? I'll repeat this process with the rest of the sections in the index and thus completely convert it to an interactive index. And that's not all. This tool also serves to redirect readers to websites. This is fantastic as it unlocks endless options that will undoubtedly make the reading and navigation experience in our document feel much more interactive and memorable. Finally, we can say that this PDF is 100% mobile friendly and now your PDF is ready to go. You might be wondering how to share it, right? Well, don't worry, PDF Element has got you covered. Simply open the ellipsis menu of the document and tap the share button and choose a sharing option. The share by link is a really interesting option. This stores a copy of your file in the Wondershare document cloud and provides you with a direct link. You can share this link with anyone and they'll be able to access the document through a web viewer without any external applications. Or maybe you prefer the share by mail option. This one is ideal for those situations where you need to send your PDF to multiple people at the same time. Simply attach the file to an email and send it to all recipients. And lastly, there is the option of share by file. This allows you to send your PDF through messaging applications on your device, such as Skype, Discord, or Facebook. It's a quick and direct way to share it with those who need it. And that's all about how to create mobile friendly PDFs. As we saw in today's video, creating mobile friendly PDFs is easy and straightforward, especially when using PDF Element. With this tool, you won't need any advanced web development, word processing software, or design skills to create PDFs that are easy to read and navigate on any mobile device. PDF Element provides all the necessary tools in the same place. Your readers will appreciate the improved reading experience, free from struggles with Zoom and confusion navigation. So go ahead and give it a try. You'll be amazed at how simple it is to create mobile friendly PDFs with PDF Element. Thank you so much for watching this video and sticking with me till the end. If you enjoy or found this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel. We regularly upload videos with updated tips and tricks to make your work easier using the PDF Element workspace. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.